Hello and welcome to Gangtai News of Gangtai Radio and Television Station. Here are today's headlines. Gangtai City Delegation worked with the Grantham Research Institute at Imperial College London. Tang Lop Fruit Garden Festival 2024 kicked off along with the Summer Solace Festival on Tang Lop Isle. A scientific conference regarding the solutions and opportunities to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Top news today. Continuing their business trip in the UK, the Gangta City delegations, led by Mr. Pham Phang Hiu, standing vice secretary of the city party committee and chairman of the city people's council, held a working session with the Grantham Research Institute at Imperial College London. At the meeting, Gunther City leaders emphasized the continuous development of Vietnam-UK relationship across various fields. They highlighted the challenges faced by the Mekong Delta region, such as drought, salinity intrusion, landslides and flooding, which have become increasingly severe in recent years. These issues threaten the livelihoods of people and the sustainable development of the Mekong Delta. Gunther City, situated at the center of the Mekong Delta, is particularly vulnerable to these dangers. During the meeting, city leaders expressed their hope that the Grantham Research Institute will prioritize Gunther in its future cooperative activities. They particularly saw support in areas such as training human resources to adapt to climate change, sharing experiences, initiatives and solutions for reducing greenhouse gas emissions, and promoting the use of renewable energy. The Tang Lao Fruit Garden Festival 2024 kicked off in the afternoon of June 7. This annual cultural and tourism event is coordinated by the Thobnok District People Committee and organized by the Department of Culture, Sports and Tourism of Gangta City. The festival coincides with the Summer Solstice Festival on Tang Lop Isle. The Tang Lop Fruit Garden Festival 2024 runs from June 7 to June 10, featuring a variety of cultural, artistics, and sports activities. Highlights include competitions and displays of artistic fruit decoration and shaping, exhibits of exotic trees, tubers, and fruits, a showcase of bonsai ornamental plants, folk cake stalls, and contests for beautiful stalls. Additionally, there will be stalls promoting tourism and COP products from various cities and districts, local fruit stalls, and demonstrations of the Thuận Hưng rice papermaking craft, aimed at preserving and promoting traditional craft villages. The project, Strengthening Access to One Health in Approach Climate Environmental Change Adaptation in Gangta City, was launched on the morning of June 7. The project strengthened an access to one house in the context of climate and environmental change in Kanta City was launched with funding from the United States Agency for International Development, USAID, through the United Nations Development Program, UNDP. This non-refundable ODA-funded project has a budget of $196,140 US dollars. The People's Committee of Gangta City is the governing body, and the Department of Health of Gangta City owns the project, which will be implemented from 2024 to 2028. The project aims to enhance the city's capacity to detect, prevent, and respond to emerging infectious diseases related to climate change. It also seeks to strengthen the implementation of strategies that coordinate the One Health approach and human resources in the One Health sector in Gangta. The scientific conference titled Solutions and Opportunities to Reduce Greenhouse Gas Emissions from the Project of 1 Million Hectares of High Quality Rice in the Mekong Delta took place on the afternoon of June 7. Presentations from experts and scientists cover several key issues. Cooperation and research on greenhouse gas emissions in agricultural cultivation by the Faculty of Environment and Natural Resources at Gangta University for measuring greenhouse gas emission, farming models that reduce greenhouse gas emissions, technical solutions to effectively achieve the goal of reducing greenhouse gas emission in the 1 million hectares of high quality rice cultivation project, experiences in applying solutions to reduce greenhouse gas emissions in Engzeng through the VNSAT project, 
business perspectives and product outputs, and the current situation and solutions for high quality, low emission rice production aim at promoting green growth in Gangta City. On the morning of June 7, the final day of the 10th grade entrance exam in Gangta City, 716 out of 719 test takers took the specialized subject exam at Li Tichong High School for the Gifted, reaching a participation rate of 98.58%. The subjects with the highest test taker included English, Mathematics and Chemistry. According to many students, the exam content for the subjects closely adhere to the secondary school curriculum. However, given its specialized nature, the exam was highly challenging and designed to differentiate among candidates, require them to apply general and practical knowledge, along with critical thinking and reasoning, to solve the problem presented. The admissions council for the 10th grade in 2024-2025 school year in Kanta City reported that the final day of the exam concluded safely and in accordance with regulations. The exam results are expected to be announced at 4 p.m. on June 15th. Dear audience, proposing and developing ideas creatively is one of the ways to help students gain experience while still in school. Now, let's explore the community tourism concept models created by students from the Faculty of Social Science and Humanities at Gunther University. On newspapers, farm boxes use toothpicks. These seemingly discarded items have been transformed by the skillful hands and creative minds of students from the Faculty of Social Sciences and Humanities at Kentucky University into unique community tourism development models for various regions of Vietnam. The special feature of this concept model is that the students always focus on incorporating local culture to create tourism products that are appropriate for each region, making them distinctive. Additionally, they integrate environmental protection and waste management issues to develop sustainable tourism spots for the community. Our idea is based on Bandan Province in the South Central Coast region. This is an island commune of Bandan Province and has the potential to develop a community tourism model. Given factors such as the island commune being located offshore, inhabited by locals and having local products, we use the knowledge we learn and research to build activities and strongly develop community tourism on Nhung Yeo Island, commonly known as Gulao San Island. The area we are focusing on is the Red River Delta. To develop a community model like this, we have to start with practical realities. We survey social media platforms and chose Angban Town, Baknan Province, a region with the potential for developing lotus cultivation, and particularly suited for turning wasteland into lotus fields. Not only do we aim to bring tourists to the Lotus region, but we also have a community homestay model that showcases the local culture, such as Wang Ha Baknan folk songs. In my class, a classmate is working on the Megum Delta. The idea is to build a homestay on a mountain, incorporating environmental protection to promote sustainable tourism. I think this focus on environmental protection will be a message that attracts tourists to the Megum Delta. Our advantage is our unity. We work on this model with 78 members, so the coordination on each topic was very smooth. The difficulty was in terms of travel, as each member was from different places, so we had to choose the meeting point together. It's known that this brother's report on community tourism and homestay subject of students. There are two aspects I like. First, the student explored the cultural values of the area, using indigenous culture to create tourism products. Second, they know how to integrate sustainable community tourism development, understand how to protect the environment, and manage waste during tourism activities. In the future, I believe we will continue to challenge students with projects that are closer to reality, ensuring these projects are feasible and can be developed into real tourism products, not just remain as theoretical models.
Coming up next is the weather forecast. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.